the, the whole way of life had changed. Before the war, I think women um, tended to stay at home, tended to be in the kitchen, tended to do women's work, as it was called. My father loved that expression. Women's place was in the kitchen. Uh, after the war, they, the women had helped, they'd been on munitions, they'd been on the land, and they wanted their way of life as well. And I think it was change all round, and change brought in a change of government as well. I would imagine that everybody was ready for a change. I think many of the soldiers came back, wanted to have a change, and maybe they were happier with the thought of a different type of government. Or maybe the promises that were made in those days by Labour Party were ones that people were looking forward to. And I think many of them were probably very good. Well, I, hadn't, I, I didn't understand the changes. All I, from a political or social view of the 30s, what I saw, were things coming in, like the food, like the um, uh, fruits, like the clothes. You see, 1947 brought in the new look, because until then, clothes had had to be shortened. You, you, the chaps couldn't have um, uh, the, the turnips on their trousers to save money on material. Um, shoes, some of them were made of wood, you couldn't have big heels, and all this sort of thing. And of course, there was also coming the nationalisation of the coal industry. So the coal owners who had been uh, very, very much in control of everything, they were then got replaced by the National Coal Board. Yeah, the, the actual sort of social reform, I mean, it was a thing we sort of heard about, but not directly affected by it. Um, our business was sort of quite different from a lot in that, as I say, um, the squire owned pretty well all Carrington, all the village as it were, and several thousands of acres outside the village as far as that goes. So all our work came from that, that one man and um, he was sort of quite a wealthy farmer, so it, it didn't sort of affect us much. The sort of the, the social change didn't really affect us personally. I think um, they had um, fought, fought and put up with these austere times and fear, and they were wanting a better life. They were wanting something more. Um, their expectations were more, and it took quite a while to get there. But eventually we did, and we all pulled together. I think everybody pulled together. And although I was a youngster at the end of the war, you could sort of have a feeling, there was just a feeling abroad that people were happier. They were um, expecting um, more, but it didn't happen quite as quickly as they thought. But they didn't moan and complain like they do now. No, they didn't. I don't remember that at all. But... I noticed that I used to go to the uh, local uh, church and to the Sunday school, because of course I was still very young, and many of the local dignitaries supported that church and they had their own reserved pews. So there was still a feeling of a little bit of them and us. <laughs> 